What's good, gang? Today, we're covering the basics of the conveyors in Rust. Here's the general stats of the items required to set up a conveyor system. Starting with the storage adapters, consider these the docks that allow items to be accessed or delivered to storage units such as boxes, tool cupboards, furnaces, and more. The storage adapter takes 100 metal frags to make and requires no power. This item is 20 scrap if you research it or bring 135 scrap to the tech tree to learn this item. Next, you will need the pipe tool and also wire tool, which both require two high quality metal and a workbench level one. These are needed to connect conveyor circuits within your base and power them. And finally, the most important piece of the puzzle, the conveyor. The conveyor is a tier one item that requires 75 metal scrap to produce. You will need either 20 scrap at a research table or 155 scrap to work your way down the tech tree. In simplest terms, the conveyor is an item that transfers other items from one place to another. We're going to start with the basics so this doesn't scare any newcomers away. For the details of the filters and in-depth uses of the conveyor and its functions, skip ahead and utilize the chapters I have placed in the video. Before we hop into the meats of these bad boys, if you find my videos helpful, please don't forget to subscribe for future Rust-related content. At 2,500 subs, I will be giving away $150 to a lucky subscriber, so don't miss out. Now, back to the tutorial. In this sample, we are moving wood from one box to another. To set this up, place a storage adapter on both small boxes. Note, the storage adapters have storage in and out ports and can be placed in different spots on the boxes. This is to avoid issues placing adapters in tight bases and tough to reach places. Next, place your conveyor in a convenient spot within your base. Follow this by next wiring power to the power in of the conveyor. By default, the power light will be in the off position. Keep this off until we set this up fully to avoid moving items before your conveyor is ready. Using the pipe tool you created, click on the industrial out of your storage adapter you want to take items from and connect it to the industrial in of the conveyor. Please know that pipes cannot be connected through walls like wires. You must be smart to route these in physical paths or it won't fully place. Finally, to complete the connections, set another path connecting the industrial out of the conveyor to the industrial in of the storage adapter of the final destination. Congrats, you've created the simplest form of conveyor systems in Rust. Now, when you turn on the conveyor with some wood in the first storage bin, you will see portions of it transfer into the other bin. But don't get too excited. We have to get into the filtering and special uses of the conveyor next. If you place other items in here as well, you will notice the conveyor moves all items. Most of the time you want these conveyors to organize your base, not further clutter it. To avoid this, hold E on the conveyor and open the change item filters panel. Here's where the real magic happens. First, let's note the item search bar, where you can search specific items or even generic categories that will move a specific group of things such as medical items, clothing, weapons, and more. The reason it's important is because you only have up to 30 items or categories per conveyor to list. Otherwise, you're forced to use other items for conveyor systems. Expect a full-blown video detailing items such as splitters and combiners in the future. For this example, we will continue on with wood. As you might notice, as you search for wood, you get a lot of options. Click on the ones you need. Wood will now be in your current items list with three options, max, buffer, minimum. If you leave them all blank, wood will transfer infinitely into its desired location or until you run out of space. If you set a max, you can expect it to deliver up to that amount. Next is the buffer. You set this if you want to transfer a limited amount of resources to the following bin. And lastly is the minimum. This means items will not transfer until there's an excess exceeding this minimum. Handy if you want to store a resource up to a certain amount before transferring. You need to also make sure you click the apply button in the bottom right for your conveyor to save the latest settings or adjustments. It's also important to note the conveyor has filter modes. We just covered the any item filter. Require all is straightforward. No items will transfer until all filters are satisfied. Let's say we need both metal and wood to have 500 in this box before transferring. Once it exceeds this amount for both resources, it will transfer the excess amount out. Exclude listed items is also pretty clear. If you want items moved, be sure to not list them under current items. This can be handy when you want to leave behind unwanted items to scrap, for example. Now, I hope this wasn't too much. 
because believe it or not, there's a bit more of these incredible items. Let's talk electrical. First and foremost, power in and pass through are a given. It's important to know any player can turn these items on or off, so keep them protected and almost always inside your base. Fortunately, players will need TC access to edit the filters. The conveyor also includes a toggle on and toggle off connection if you would prefer to connect these to a timer, digital clock, or a manual switch. This can be handy if you want to conserve power or time the use of an item for something like a furnace. Lastly, there are filter pass and fail, which are also really easy to work with. Filter pass simply means you can set a switch to turn on whenever the conveyor is moving items. Filter fail is the opposite. Once the conveyor is done moving items, it can set a switch to turn off from its function. All in all, that is my detailed version of how the conveyor works as well as the simplest setup for your base. Expect future uploads with much more detailed layouts utilizing the conveyor. I hope this was helpful to new and old players in Rust. I'll catch you guys in the next video, or to learn more about Rust, check out these featured videos. Later, y'all.